What's up everybody, it's Critical. I'm playing Punky Skunky for the PlayStation 1. Kelly, Punky, are you sure you want to do this? You bet. I can't stand it. Badler's destroying our island. He's out of control. I must stop him. Truer words have never been spoken. But you can't fight them alone. Oh, you'd be surprised by the things I can do alone. There are too many. Who the fuck's this? Oh, if he's joining me on this adventure, then this ship is sinking fast. Oh, he brought a paraglider. He brought a paraglider. This mission is doomed from the start if he joins. While in the air, press the jump button to open the parachute and fly. Thanks, Aristotle. If Nash can help you, so can I. You see, I'm fine with you joining on this adventure because you bring something to the table. And by something, I mean titties. You bring titties to the table. What does Dr. DNA Helix over there bring to the table? Nothing. He's trying to play Texas Hold'em, but he only has a rock to wager. Nobody wants to win a rock. What the fuck am I even saying? Looks like we are embarking on this voyage. Chill out. Gee willikers, thanks, punky skunky. Here we go. Right into the core gameplay mechanics. I can jump. What else can I do? Oh, I can't kill the enemies by jumping on them. Oh, there we go. There's my offensive weaponry. That's nice. That's real fucking nice. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Kamehameha! What am I even shooting with the skunk ass fumes? Are these like mouse burglars or mouses in a bear costume? I know they're mouses of some sort. That... You can't hide shit when it's already been placed on the floor, as the old adage goes. Aw, oh, shit. At least I start over from the beginning. But on the brighter side of things, I've now familiarized myself with the intricate and complex combat system that Punky Skunky offers, so I should be able to speedrun this bitch. Not quite sure what these stars do for me. Not quite sure where I'm at right now. There's those weird mountains in the background that look like nipples that have been twisted to infinity and beyond. Oh, what are, is this parachuters? This, oh, this must be the paraglider Nash was so graciously offering me in the beginning. Yeah, there we that. Thanks, Nash. I really like how Nash couldn't just hand me the paraglider when we were engaging in civil conversation. Instead, he decided to hide the paraglider in this mystifying environment. Enemy, seize it! It's not letting me attack it with ass odor. Oh, but good news, I can change out of- Oh, okay, I get it. The paraglider must constrict the ass cheeks and prevent the anal crevice from being able to manufacture and expel the ass fumes required to gruesomely slaughter these enemies. So I'm guessing when I need to ascend up the water vapor, I switch to the paraglider wardrobe. When I need to vanquish these frightening mouse soldiers, I switch into the other uniform and allow Punky Skunky to lay down some asshole justice on the bitches. End of the level, yes? Is this the end of the level? Stage cleared. Oh yeah. Punky Skunky's happy. Yeah, there we go. Neato, 25 stars. The fuck does that do for me? Chill out, will do. Oh goody, look who it is. The most useless sack of shit on this side of the planet, Nash. What's going on, Nash? Instructions, follow the commands. If you're faster than Captain Flag, you win. Raise red, lower red, raise white, lower right. Fuck, 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 shit. I was just mashing X. Who the fuck puts repeat above start? It's like the fucking owl from Ocarina of Time. Were you were you behind that, Nash? Was that your work? Raise white. Fuck. That's not white. Raise white. There we go. Second time's the charm. There we, now I'm kicking the captain's ass. Although I kind of want to let the captain win. That is easily one of the most depressed looking things I've ever seen in my life. Poor thing's got pasta noodles pulsating from its back. Oh wow, real fucking nice captain. 
You just take my sympathy and blow your runny nose with it. You struck off two in a row at the end. You bested me twice at the end. Nash, I don't want to hear you talk about all the marvelous times you had while flapping your arms like a bird. Why the fuck did this skunk get so big? It's like half the size of the whole island. I get to choose where I go next. There's no indication of where I came from though, so I'm just gonna take a guess. Stop. Nobody touch their genitals. Punky Skunky says chill out. I am on the same map I was just on. Luckily though, Punky Skunky told me to chill out, so I will abide by his wise words. Had he not told me to chill out, I would probably be a little upset right now. I was just gonna let the enemies kill me, but I know the map layout. I think it'd be faster if I just ran this shit. It's definitely not faster if I run this shit because I just got the shit run right back into my shit hole. I can't even beat this map again. Fuck. All right, well, hopefully losing on that map takes me back to the island screen instead of the main menu. If it takes me back to the main menu, that would not be gnarly. Mr. Skunky, don't fuck this up. Thank you, Mr. Skunky. All right, we're going here. Mushroom romp. All right. I'm really excited to see the new terrain, but Punky Skunky is just chill. This is awesome. There's mushrooms everywhere. Cool. Oh, what is this thing? A glow stick climbing a tree? Well, that's even better than having my testicles used for a game of ping pong. Oh, look, twins! There we go, just killed one of them with the rectal clouds from Mr. Skunky. Oh, shit. Alright. Am I supposed to go up that shit or right? What, did I, what is it? Oh, it's a pogo stick. Yippee! How does that help me? I guess I'm supposed to go up? Yep. It would seem as though I'm supposed to go up. There we go. Bam! Just landed right on that enemy. Gonna make the jump this time. If your ass crack is dirty, clean it with a bag of douche! Made the jump! How do you like it? How do you like it? He has made the jump against all odds. If this was the Kentucky Derby, then there'd be no reason for a skunk to be in the Kentucky Derby, therefore rendering Mr. Skunky completely and utterly useless. More stars, fucking more stars. What do these things do? They just don't do a fucking thing. They provide no lubrication, no anything. They're just fucking hovering stars. Hey, I beat the level. There we go. Stage clear! Yeah, there we go. Where the fuck did you just put that pogo stick? Oh, don't worry about it, just need to chill out. Look who it is, the man with a plan. His name's not Stan, it's Nash. Fucking Nash, Nash. I just don't care what you're saying right now. I don't know how much clearer I can make this, but I don't want your help. Nash, you don't do anything. Nash! Fuck you, Nash. Oh, here we go. What am I doing? What the fuck is... Am I just going from bicycle handle to bicycle handle? What the fuck is this? What am I doing? What is this? What is the goal? I have to light up the light bulbs, maybe? But how? All I can do is go from one flying Y Star Wars spaceship to the next. What is the purpose? What does this do for me, Nash? Why do you put me through these fucking ancient caveman trials? First, I had to defeat Captain Flag. And he already seemed like he was borderline ready to commit seipaku, and now you got me testing my lateral agility on this bitch. You are one weird fucking rodent. Too bad. Aw, oh, damn it, Nash. No, I didn't have fun. Try the skyscraper. 
Fuck you. Fuck you and your Sky Surfer. I can't even fucking say it. Sky Surfer. Nah, she can't even name something adequately. Why not just name it something more simple, like the Flying Skymobile or something? Something everyone can pronounce. And I don't actually feel like playing this next level, so I think that's enough of this for now. Well, that's the end of this video. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. See ya.